so the fact that it ended up here in my rv is a little weird it is at least 100 degrees here in la today the ac is not on in the rv as you guys can see i'm here but what's up guys chris star here and welcome back to my channel now in my last video i did promise you guys that i was going to reveal <sighs> what the heck is going on in my rv that kind of startled me so today i actually head back to new jersey i'm really sad to be leaving california but i will be back i miss everyone and my cats back in new jersey so i'm actually pretty excited to go home and see them if i look like i'm sweating it's because i probably am i probably am but in today's video we have a very very special guest you guys have not seen him in a hot minute drum roll please Jackie boy! <laughs> Jack missed you all. He had to come and say hey, but he's a very important part of today's video and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's just get into it. He says what's up. He's actually a little heavy right now because I did pack all of my crystals down there. Um, he is coming in my carry-on. He's going in my backpack. It's actually really hard to fit him and now my backpack is like monstrous, but he's not getting checked and he's not getting shipped. He comes where I go. So anything for Jackie boy. In my last video, I did tell you guys that I found something in my RV that was pretty startling and I'm going to show you what it is. And there is quite a story behind it. Was this gonna make my RV more haunted? Honestly, the first time I saw this, it freaked me the hell out. There are just planes everywhere. So there is quite a story behind this and it might actually make my RV more haunted. For those of you that don't know, go and watch some of my videos from last year around Halloween time. When I drove this RV out to California, from the east coast my girl Shanice and I had so much happening to us on the way out here now I was these planes like they're rude they're literally rude like don't they're freaking rude they're so freaking loud they're rude I'm trying to talk to you guys Jack and I are trying to talk to you guys and this freaking so I only have a couple minutes because Cassie is coming to pick me up from Jeremy's house I'm leaving my Jeep here so he can watch over it for me and I need to get the hell out of this RV so let me just show you guys what I found in my RV and why the hell it's here so of course there's a glare so I can't show you guys too well but there is this crazy clown painting that ended up here on my my table in the RV like why what the hell is it doing here so I asked Jeremy and apparently it was his mom's by Robert Quinn guys there's quite a bit of noise so don't mind it there's some guy like whistling for a cat but when I first found Jack I actually found him next to this painting it was at my girl Chris's house paranormal descendants I have been wanting a vintage clown jack-in-the-box for a long time literally the day before I found Jack I was calling New York City antique shops looking for an old vintage antique jack-in-the-box that looked just like him I walked in I found him and I found him right next to this clown painting now the weird thing is this clown painting painting made me feel so bizarre. I had the craziest moment of deja vu and when I told my friend Chris, she told me that that's kind of what happens when people look at this exact painting. This is literally the same exact painting. So Jeremy's mom had a copy of it as well. I just find it so odd because I've never told anybody about this painting or where I found Jack, like how I found him right next to this painting. So the fact that it ended up here in my RV is... <sighs> a little weird i wanted to do a quick spirit box session before i head out because i wanted to see if there is any reason like why this ended up here because nobody knew about this so jackie boy is going to assist us i'm going to break out the necrophonic app okay baby i'll talk with you soon when I get oh hi oh my goodness guys we have a little visitor come on papa hi Come on. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's uh, a cat that I feed. You know him? Um, yeah, I know Jeremy. Oh, you know Jeremy? Yeah, okay. I love this cat. He likes to hang out under the RV. Yeah, his name is, I call him David. David? David Bowie, because he's got a green eye and a blue eye. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love him. I love seeing yeah. him. I've known him for uh, for like 10 years. Oh, he's so sweet. You take him in? Hello to you. Wow. Oh my gosh, you are just the most handsome thing. Yeah. Oh my god. But I'm gonna see if I can... 
slight intermission for the cat there, guys. I'm so sorry, but Jack and I are going to do a quick spirit box session. Um, now, I don't know if there is a way for me to actually hold this painting so that you guys can see it, but let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now, guys, I'm literally surrounded by clowns and I don't like really like clowns. I just like Jack. Jack, I like you. Relax there. His hand, his paper mache hand's broken. Now guys, I'm gonna break out the spirit box app that I use in basically all of my videos and all of my investigations. If you guys are interested in it, it is available for iPhone and Android and as always, those links will be down below in the description. So I'm actually just gonna put this right here. I'm gonna plop that there. And I'm just gonna ask a couple questions about like why the hell this ended up here? How, like how did Jeremy's mom know the importance of this, this painting? It's the weirdest thing. Jack, are you here with me? Are you in your box right now? I just heard I'm here. Jack, can you say hi for us? Bert. Oh my. Albert. Oh my gosh. Guys, Albert from my apartment. Is he here? Jack, if you're here, can you give me a sign, please? Oh my god. What the hell? My keys just went flying off thing. They weren't even anywhere near the edge and they went like they slid off of the, the couch. Jack, did you manifest this painting back? What's the deal with What's the deal with this painting, Jack? Did you influence Jeremy's mom to get this to you? Is there anything attached to this clown painting? Burn. Whoa, that was like a full blown sentence. What's attached to this crown painting? Chris. What would you like with me? Why do you keep calling my name? Why do you call Why did you call my name? What can I do for you? Up. Thank you so much for communicating with me tonight. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. And just like that, guys, we are back in New Jersey. Jack did come with me all the way from LA. Um, he did come on the plane with me. I actually do I pack Jack because what if he gets lost? I'm not gonna ship him in the mail. I haven't been in this house since May. There's like cat hair blowing everywhere because I took something out. You guys know that there are a few spirits. I have a few resident spirits here. And with everything I have going on, I need to refocus my energy. So I have been thinking, do I finally get rid of fancy pantsy? I hate to say it because I really tried so hard to help the spirit. Oh my god, you guys. It looks like my cat really liked fancy pantsy while I was gone. Do you see that shit? What? Hey guy, guy, you have some explaining to do. You do. With that being said, guys, there is a spirit attached to Fancy Pantsy. The person that sent me her did not know too much about this doll. I do believe that it could be a male spirit that is attached to this doll. Back in the winter, we did some spirit box sessions, and it seemed like this spirit could potentially be from the World War II era, maybe the Holocaust era. There was a lot of words coming through on the spirit box that had a lot to do with maybe being in the war or maybe being a victim of the war or the Holocaust. A lot of these were done on live streams. I may have some of those up still. I'm not too sure. I would definitely be open to doing another spirit box session with Fancy Pantsy before I sent her off to her new owner. I really want your guys' opinions. I know there are so many of you guys that are interested in Fancy Pantsy. So many people have offered like crazy amounts of money. I'm not really looking for crazy amounts of money. However, I think that it would be pretty cool to do another haunted auction. Now, if I do end up auctioning off 
fancy pantsy any of the the money that i do make will of course be going to my jaw i do have some updates about my tmj and this insane journey in my last video so if you guys are interested in taking a peek at that it's in my very last video it's not cheap and i definitely would love for this money to go towards something that I absolutely need, which is definitely my health. As you guys know, if you've been following me for the past few years, the TMJ has ruined my life. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I think I'm ready to finally part ways with Fancy Pantsy, and it makes me really, really sad. Now, if I do end up doing an auction, guys, I just want you to realize that when handling haunted items, items that do have a spirit attachment, it should be taken very seriously, and I really advise you guys, if this is something that you're not too comfortable with, I just want to advise you guys that if you don't have a lot of experience with haunted items or in the paranormal field, then maybe fancy pansies is not for you because she definitely is a very active spirit and i just want to make sure that whoever ends up getting fancy pansy handles her with the utmost care and um, is very very careful and has somewhat of experience i know a lot of you guys are very intrigued by what i do and the paranormal but this is very real and this is very serious so i just want you guys to be safe i want you guys to be careful so let me know down below in in the comments if you would like to partake in another haunted auction with fancy fancy and i don't think i have too many other things i do have it's like a spirit box that i got from a, a haunted mystery box when i did that video with kelsey that's the only item that i have left from that entire mystery box it did not sell in my last haunted auction so i can definitely put that up on there as well if i have anything else i will let you guys know hansel and gretel those two yellow dolls that i got in sleepy hollow will not be for sale i did promise the owner of that antique shop that i would not ever sell those dolls she did give me an incredible deal on them so i definitely want to honor her wishes and i'm not just trying to make a load of money off of my things like i said if i do make any money i would just love for it to go toward my tmj treatments and yeah let me know your thoughts down below let us know jack is going to be parting ways with his spirit friend jack what do you think you know, I think that he supports any decision I make because he knows I'm doing it for the greater good. We need to clean out some of this energy here. It's just too much, guys. It's like a big, like, ghost party. The, the, the ghosts are, like, partying in my house every night, and it drives my cats crazy. With everything I have going on right now, I just need to, I just need a little bit of a break. I'm not saying that I'm never going to collect haunted items again. Um, I still have some, and I'm keeping them, of course. But, you know, it's just time to kind of move on, and maybe explore some new energies but I don't know so yeah let us know down in the comments fancy fancy I'm so sorry but I know that you're gonna go to a good home because I said it and I know it and I swore it and I swore it and you're gonna go to a good home because I said and I'm gonna lint roll her I promise guys I'm going to lint roll fancy fancy like you don't even got to worry now she is coming from a house of pets <laughs> so I know if you guys are allergic then it might be a little bit of an issue I just love how there's like I really am so sorry. Gosh. You know, I leave my cats in charge for three months, and this is what I get. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. So guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for coming with me all the way back to New Jersey, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, just the little weird surprise that was inside of my RV. Um, I wanna know your thoughts on that. Should I keep it? Should I not? Am I setting myself up for another like crazy uh, whatever the hell? Am I setting myself up for another crazy haunting? Because your girl is in no mood. I'm in no mood at the current time. I just gotta be honest with you. I need to focus my energy on me. That is exactly why I am looking to rehome fancy pantsy so i don't really know what to make of the clown painting i just find it really weird that i found jack and he was next to that exact painting at my friend chris's house and then i find the painting in the rv jeremy's mom ended up uh thinking of me when she was moving but anyway guys make sure you are smashing that thumbs up button we have loads of paranormal content coming for you in october some really cool things and other announcements new exclusive halloween merch you guys are definitely not going to want to miss that and again let me know your thoughts on rehoming fancy fancy and i will catch you guys super soon peace out starlings